What's up everyone, it's JJ here. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I bring you the jackknife tutorial. Jackknife is one of my favorite kicks and I think it's one of the best looking kicks in tricking when it's done well. It's quite easy to do a basic jackknife, getting the first kick and getting a second kick, but to get that perfect jackknife with two fully extended kicks, is really difficult and there's a lot of little finer details that you have to get before you can achieve it and I've spent a lot of time trying to understand those little extra details and there's still a lot of details that I'm missing and that's kind of why I don't quite have the jackknife that I want just yet. I've had quite a few of you guys asking me to do this tutorial for ages and there's a couple of reasons as to why I've delayed this video. The main two being it's actually a really difficult trick to master and I don't feel like I'm good enough at it yet. However, I've succumbed to the peer pressure and I'm gonna tell you guys how I train it and how I approach it. You have been warned. What is a jackknife? A jackknife is basically a combination of a 540 and a cheat seven-ish. So make sure you're really comfortable with 540. Also, it's quite good if you can do like a tornado front kick instead of a tornado round. So your kick goes straight up and obviously a cheat 720 as well. Okay, so a quick disclaimer before I get into how I train it. I do not have the best jackknife in the world. Far from it. If you wanna know some of the best jackknifers out there, I'll put them at the end of this video. So if you don't wanna to listen to me talk, skip to the end, or you can wait till we get there. Just add revenue on that. In the prereqs, I mentioned three different moves. I mentioned a tornado front, a G720, and a 540. All three of those moves really can be trained to help with your jackknives. A key thing being height. Whenever you're training 540s on tornadoes, you wanna really focus on taking that step and driving everything straight up, and you wanna get up as fast as you can, okay? So you wanna be really explosive off that takeoff leg. If you're practicing the cheat 720 aspect, and that's for kind of the hook kick effect, you wanna make sure that you're practicing it with a stall in the middle. So you're taking off, tucking everything up, waiting, and snapping it out like this. And then for tornado round, it's more so exploding off the ground, getting really high and shooting that leg up as fast as you can to get full extension. Because you do not want to be doing a jackknife where your first kick is like this. The best jackknives have full extension on both kicks. A lot of people really struggle with the first kick. And for me, when I was training jackknives, I really leveled them up when I started to focus more on the first kick as opposed to the second kick. Because if you train your cheat sevens enough, that second kick will just become natural to you. You'll be surprised at how late you can leave it before you try to snap that hook kick. So, tornado front, let's go. A good thing to practice as well with your tornado fronts is think about where you're hitting, okay? Because I find, certainly for me, when I practice my jackknives, I try to hit my first kick over at this side, like almost to the corner. Because if I hit in the center or just like slightly past, I find that my hook kick then becomes more over this way. So it looks like here and here and I start to turn. Whereas you want it all facing forward because that's when it looks the best. So to help that, kick the first leg early and then you'll turn for the second one and it should be in a nice position for the camera. As well, when you can comfortably do a tornado front and have this leg straight, like, where you kind of kick, foot lands, and then the second one, you wanna try and do it where you do tornado front and land both feet together. And maybe with a little bit of turning your hips as well. Not quite a 540, but just kicking, bringing your feet. Turn. To do that, it's really important to chamber the leg that isn't kicking, because it just gives you that little extra hang time and then you can snap the foot down and turn it. So the two kicks that we just covered, the tornado kind of front 
and a G7 are really the main kicks for a jackknife but you need to be comfortable landing that right leg having turned your hips with a kick so there's no point really trying a jackknife if you can't do a 540 solid and the way you should be training your 540s isn't just the kick and land facing this way you want to get your kick to come up and then you want to land back facing your target so like kick and pivot so what I like to think about is as soon as my leg is up and I'm swiping it down then I snap my head around and try and see the target again Okay, so here's where the fun begins, or where the nightmare starts. So now what you can do is take that tornado front with a little pivot and kind of combine it with the 540 pivot, okay? So that means that instead of landing on two feet, you're gonna go tornado front, snapping it up as fast as you can and pull it back down because the longer you keep that leg there, the less time you have to turn your hips and getting those hips turned for a jackknife is super important for that hook kick because if you don't get those hips turned properly, your kick's gonna be down here and it's also gonna be gone well past your target. You wanna get that kick so you can turn your hips and shoot your leg straight out and it comes across really nice. So, tornado front, pull it down, do that pivot, but try and land on that one leg. And it's really important here, like super important, that you're gonna chamber that other leg because that's gonna be ready to hook out. Okay, so see what I did there? I go up as high as I can. All my focus is trying to get up for that first kick. You should almost have that first kick done when you hit your max height. You don't want to get your max height and then do your kick. It needs to come straight from the ground to hit up. Then you pivot and then have your leg in chamber. And even then when I did it, my leg kind of came out. So it was kind of like kick here and then hook you there. And this is the start of your jackknife. So let's do that one more time. Tornado kick, remember kick goes straight up from the ground. Pivot your hips, have that chamber leg when you kick and then just kind of let it come out at the end. So there I'm getting a nice defined kick, I'm turning and my hook kick leg is in chamber position. So right then I kind of landed probably like this, all right? And I could hook kick out and it would be a jackknife, but it wouldn't be quite what we want because we want both kicks up here. And the reason why we're here and the hook kick would be low is because we didn't turn our hips early enough or fast enough and I didn't go for the hook kick. I'm not gonna go for my full jackknife just to give you guys a bit of a progression step but I am gonna focus on hooking a little bit more so hopefully I'm gonna get a kick here and here and then I'll show you guys how to get it a bit higher. Still didn't quite turn our hips enough so we got a kick here. The key thing was there when you feel your kicking leg that side when you feel that side coming over like it comes across the center line kick okay so it's almost like I'm gonna kick here so my hips are like going this way my hip passes shoot my leg straight out so it starts to hook it here and then it will come across the target hopefully up until this point you can start to see the sort of jackknife shape that we're building with that first kick being the main focus then pivoting around and getting the second kick so basically to get your kick higher you just need to start thinking about the hook kick earlier okay without sacrificing that first kick so kind of there, I was going kick, I was turning my hip, I was shooting my leg, but I wasn't focusing on really pulling that leg. I was just putting it out for positioning. Whereas now I'm gonna go for it, and here's where the cheat seven really comes into play. If you've drilled your cheat seven enough and you're comfortable being like down here with your chest and shooting your leg up, it's gonna be quite easy for you. Kind of a part of the jackknife is being able to balance in an awkward position. Sometimes the biggest looking jackknifes or the most visual ones leave you ended up kind of like down here with your leg and you're, you're not really pivoted around and that's because you focus on getting your kick and turning your hips so early so you can get the hook kick out that it's left you with a massive hook kick but your body's down here to help you get that height and that's fine it just means you have to be quite good at balancing in an awkward position right so let's go for it big kick straight off the ground really snapping it out snap it turn and whack that leg as soon as your foot is extended Think, twist your hips, pull the leg back in, turn your hips, and shoot that leg as high as you can.
All right, so another tip which I haven't mentioned yet, um, partly because I forgot. When you do that tornado front kick or the first kick in your jackknife, to help you going straight up and getting that kick, I like to think about keeping tall. So that means when I go for the first one, I try to keep my chest completely vertical or as best I can, getting that kick up here. And then when I go for the hook kick to help me get it higher, I start to lean as I turn my hips and it just helps getting it high. So take a step, keep tall with your, with your upper body, keep that leg up, then start to lean as you chamber in, turn your hips so you're slightly horizontal and then if you extend your leg, it should come over the top and give it that nice jackknife effect. And those are all my secrets and my tips for jackknives. It's a lot more complex than most people think. Yeah, it's pretty easy to do a bad one, but to execute the really precise ones and the ones that everyone looks at and they're like, wow, it's really difficult to do that. More so, it just takes a lot of fine tuning, playing about and practice. It took me an extremely long time to get my jackknife to where it is now. But hopefully with me sharing my advice and my experience that I've had when training it, you guys will be able to get it a lot faster. I said at the start that I'm gonna drop a couple names of jackknives that are really good or some of my personal favorites. Two big names for jackknives, Michael Guthrie, of course. Jacob Pinto, of course, does it both sides, smashes it. Beautiful pointed toes, re-chambers, boom, second leg, massive. And I would say those two guys are the jackknives that you're gonna be aiming towards. Also, some more people that are really, really good at jackknives, and if you're trying to get on it, you should watch them too. Reg Messina from Belgium, some of the OGs as well, like Anis, Danny Graham, and Jeremy Marinas. Although the last four names that I mentioned tend to do it a slightly different style, they go for a bit more of a split one, which I'm still trying to figure out myself. That might not make any sense to you, but if you go watch the jackknives that I've just spoken about, hopefully you'll understand what I mean. Thank you for watching. I wish you the best of luck in learning jackknife. Like I said, it's gonna take a lot of time, but if you're willing to put in that effort, you'll eventually get there. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.